Holy crap. It's so beautiful. Camper biker hot mess. <laughs> How'd you sleep last night? The garbage. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I think it's because we had too much stuff in the tent. So we couldn't move around as much. We'll get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have to. Sleep. We're gonna be so tired that we're gonna sleep like babies in there one day. <laughs> I know. Sleeping in a hotel every once in a while would be nice. <laughs> Oh, we are. Yeah. I'm thinking about a hotel right now. <laughs> Just check in and go to sleep. But Rusty did good. He did good. He didn't know what was going on, did ya? We were hoping all of this fog would be gone. Which stinks because we really wanted to see how beautiful this place is, but... It's beautiful in itself. Yep. The fog and all. Somebody's been using that tree as a toilet. Oh, gross. Alright, let's pack up, baby. It is super foggy. We thought it was going to clear up like we said before, but it never did. So I'm hoping once we get down here, it kind of clears up. But we are getting closer to the ocean and uh, probably more, more fog along the way. We did meet a really cool guy named Kenny. And uh, yeah, it's just super cool to meet people. And this is like, you know, the, uh, the best, one of the best parts about the trip is just meeting like all these cool people. Yeah, it was funny, like when he was working on his Jeep, he, with his pit boy, he's, he's an intimidating guy. Yeah. Like, he's a big guy. I thought he, I thought he was like a, just, just the wrong but then I was like, the pit bull was nice, but then he didn't say anything to me. But then he realized that we had a dog, and he was like, uh... Dogs unite people. It's so funny. But yeah, super, super awesome guy. There's people on the beach. No, yes, there is. <laughs> it's way too cold and way too foggy. We already dropped the bike this morning. Talk about peaceful. Uh, it was on a slant and it was on the center stands. And it was leaning Kelsey's way. I should have to get on the other side but I'm always on the left side for some reason I told Kelsey to push on it but yeah bike is a lot heavier than she is so all right let's ex assess the damage what's the damage damage report crash bar seemed good yeah stickers are still intact it fell right there nothing's bent Use for the most part. Everything still seems straight. It's good. Cool. Everything is well made. Rusty. Check out this beautiful place. We stopped to uh, charge my nebulizer battery. It was just off the uh, highway one. It is beautiful. Look how clear the water is. I mean, it's crystal clear. Is there where they get all the oysters? You think? Yeah. Just a fisherman's little village. This is amazing. Whisper, colored 
shirt down by my feet Stood on a crowded bathroom rug Voices filled the rooms upstairs Our fort was warm before we drove Breakfast fresh on the stove She walked out with the floral blouse Back then everyone was near Alright guys, so we just stopped to eat at Taco Bell and now we are going to find a camp spot. Um, this is a spot that I have on my map. Um, it's apparently a free campsite. I think it looks like it's in a state park. Uh, so I don't know if it's free or not, but look at this view. Holy crap. It's so beautiful. I know. And I saw a whale earlier. I saw the tail of a, a whale go into the water. That's... Isn't that called something? Um, when whales do that? So that's exciting. Uh, but look at this view. This is just awesome. So I am already feeling sore. Like, my butt, I don't got a lot of cushion back, I, yeah, I don't got a lot of cushion back there. My back is, yeah, my back is actually fine, but it's my butt, my legs are sore because I've been sitting for so long, and my, my hand, my throttle hand is super, super pumped. It's my butt, my back, my head. But, by the, by the end of this trip, we're gonna have some, uh, Buns of steel, <laughs> forearms of steel. Yeah, we got a much earlier start today than we did yesterday. I think we've probably done close to 200, maybe 250, 250 miles today. But yeah, these roads have just been amazing this whole way, nice and curvy and. Once you pass San Francisco, really, like Monterey to San Francisco was like, eh. Yeah, there wasn't much to see. There was just more traffic and stoplights and, but ever since, ever since San Fran, it's been awesome. Hopefully we plan to start the trail. I would say not tomorrow, two, two, three days. On the third day, we'll be on the trail. You know, I, I'm pretty sure we mentioned it, but we had to fly out of Boise, Idaho for a clinical trial appointment in Charleston, which is funny because that's like where we're ending our trip. So yeah, we fly out on the 9th, appointments on the 10th, and then we come back on the 11th, and then we'll continue our routes on the uh, Transamerica Trail. It's been an awesome drive, and we're about 50 minutes away from the campsite. So we're going to try to find that, call it a night, and uh, yeah, try to make some more, more progress tomorrow. Alright guys, so we just passed this campsite, and um, it's $35 a night, but prime location. Yeah, when else are we going to be able to camp by the beach? So yeah, guys, um, this is our campsite for the night. Check out, Hi, check out that campsite. view. This is amazing view. Yeah, we were just passing by and saw tents over here. Um, Thirty-five dollars a night, but look how beautiful. Beautiful view. We set up camp. We have got everything. Well, we got we got the tent set up. 
Um, but, I mean, everything else we don't have set up. But, check it out. Look at this view over here. Let's go see what Kelsey is doing. There she is. Let's go see. As you guys saw from last night, uh, it was pretty, it wasn't rough. It could get a lot worse. Um, but it, we got there, it was dark, it was foggy, everything was wet. So it could def definitely have been better. Today made makes up for it. It is absolutely beautiful. This campsite, the weather's gorgeous, it's not windy. Um, it's just, it's amazing. We are at Abalone, Abalone Point. And it's just, it's just north of De Haven, De Haven, De Heaven. But uh, yeah, let's go check out this view because it's, it's pretty nice. Kelsey's FaceTime in her mother. So check out the view. It's amazing. <laughs> I haven't been this happy. I don't know how long. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm imagining it's going to be even more pretty when the sun sets. It's going to be nice going to sleep to the sound of waves. I don't need a sound wave. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Christy's stuck. Christy, you stuck? You stuck, buddy? Huh? He's a good boy. He's a biker boy. Yes. We're going to finish setting up camp. Alright guys, we are all set up. I got my G-tube hanging up, just with a carabiner. I just, okay, just wait and listen, just real quick. Do you hear that? It's the ocean. Yeah. We don't have to have a sound machine, a sound machine on. Yep. We can just have the ocean. Yep. So, yeah, we got that. And then got my nebulizer over here. About to, uh, about to do that. And if you guys didn't know why you use red light instead of white light, do you know? Don't know. You don't know? Don't think so. Because white or red light doesn't like dilate your pupils as much as white. Oh. So when you go from like, so like when you turn, to dark. yeah, when you turn this off, your eyes don't. Uh. Oh Jesus! <laughs> 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 there's the, uh, there's your. Uh, well, my eyes are right dilated right now. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's the reason why. But we are headed to bed the end of day two. Um, tomorrow, we hope to get pretty close. Pretty close to the trail. Yeah. That begins the hard part of the journey. Yeah. <laughs> you sound nervous. I'm getting less nervous as the days go on. Yeah. We got six weeks to get it, uh, figure things out. Yeah. So guys, if you did like day two's vlog, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, Rusty. Rusty boy. Oh, he's done. Yep. He's KO'd. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, boy. He had a long day. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as you know, we're doing this trip to raise awareness and funds for cystic fibrosis. So check out the GoFundMe link below. You can donate there and 100% of the proceeds go to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. We hope we have inspired you and we hope you enjoy the rest of our journey.